If you saw in a couple videos back, I quit my job as an OBGYN in private practice. Look at me thriving and much more happier. If I quit my job in private practice, what the heck am I doing now? I am still practicing medicine, but I have decided to become an OBGYN hospitalist. You may be wondering what the heck is an OBGYN hospitalist and what's the difference between that and private practice, and that's what I'm going to do in today's video, explain it. I'm Dr. Ali, I'm an OBGYN who is also much, much more than just a doctor. I love to share education, empowerment, women's health, pregnancy periods, all the stuff on social media, but I also like sharing my life, luxury bags, fashion. You follow me on Instagram, traveling, whatever it may be, funny videos, dancing videos. I am much more than my career. You are much more than your career. You can't tell I'm in like a silly, goofy mood this video. But let's jump right in, just cut to the chase. What's an OBGYN hospitalist? If you remember back to my video that I'll link over here on what it meant to be in private practice, you also might remember that I was in a private practice that also served as the OB hospitalist at my hospital. So now I've just decided to be a full-time hospitalist. What that means is I do not see patients in my own private office. So I don't have my own personal patients that I see throughout an entire pregnancy or for like a well woman exam or anything like that. I simply work in a hospital setting only. So may I still deliver your baby or end up doing surgery on you? Yeah, absolutely. And I'll explain how that works. As an OBGYN hospitalist, say you are in active labor, but you're on vacation two hours away from your home hospital. So you're in active labor and you go to the nearest hospital in whatever new city you're in. Obviously your own doctor that you've been seeing the nine months of pregnancy is not going to drive for two hours. This little lady is not being quiet. So I'm just gonna have to hold her. You see Maggie, she's my new puppy. Maggie the Menace, you're such a terror and you're beautiful. Well, obviously the doctor that you've been seeing for the whole nine months of your pregnancy is not going to drive the two hours to this new city to deliver you. As doctors, we get hospital privileges. So you have to have privileges to deliver and practice out of a certain hospital. So if your doctor doesn't have privileges at whatever hospital you're at, unfortunately, they won't be able to deliver you. So who's gonna deliver you? That's where me as an OBGYN hospitalist would step in. So as OBGYN hospitalists, we take care of the no doc, no doctor patients, drop-in patients that just come to a hospital and their doctors don't have privileges at that hospital. So then obviously someone is always at a hospital able to care for you and deliver you. Same thing goes for any sort of GYN procedure. Say you come into the hospital with abdominal pain, vaginal bleeding and you get diagnosed with an ectopic pregnancy, me as an OBGYN hospitalist would come and do your surgery, come talk to you, talk about options, treatment options, and all that kind of stuff. We also take care of patients who don't have any prenatal care or maybe they haven't seen an OBGYN in years and are coming in for something else, then we would see those patients as well. We also work in a team along with the private OBGYNs at hospitals. So in case someone has an emergency, needs help, needs an assist during a C-section. A lot of private doctors actually labor their patients while they're in their office. And they may not be in-house throughout your entire labor course. Say they're in the office seeing patients and then you're laboring in the hospital and something happens. You have a cord prolapse, you start hemorrhaging, your baby's heart rate drops and you need an emergency C-section. As an OBGYN hospitalist, I can then take over for your care until your doctor can make it. Obviously, if it's a life-threatening emergency and we can't wait the 20 minutes it may take them to come in, then I'm gonna step in as an OBGYN hospitalist. That's gonna be my new role. Along with this new role, my work-life balance and my schedule is way, way better. You remember from my other video, it was crazy, crazy busy. Being in private practice and being a hospitalist together did not work. Now, as a full-time OBGYN hospitalist, I just work six shifts a month. Six. Yes, they are still 24-hour shifts, which I absolutely hate. Like I mentioned in my other video, this sin in the United States is broken. I'm hoping that there is advocacy and change that goes along so that we can just get rid of 24-hour shifts because they're just not normal. Luckily, at my new hospital, it is a smaller hospital, so it's not quite as busy as the labor and delivery I worked at before. So your time management is a little bit easier and you do have more time to rest and recover. I am very thankful for that. If you're an OBGYN or in medicine and you're considering leaving your job, trying to find new positions, I encourage you to do some research, reach out to people, see what other things you can do with your medical degree or your subspecialty, because I guarantee you, 
there are so many opportunities that it may not necessarily be bedside if that's something you don't want to do anymore, or it could be bedside or in the office, but a much better work-life balance. I'm so excited for the new generation of doctors, me and then Gen Z behind me. I think it's going to make such a huge positive culture shock and change in medicine and I'm excited to see where this goes. I think we are just done with the days of the generation above me and the generation above that thinking that we have to one stay in our first job and never quit and just work and work and work or two don't complain about it because you went to school in the snow walking uphill backwards whatever that saying is that needs to change because there's much more to life than just working. I think we're doing a really good job as millennials and the generation behind me to change that to actually make work-life balance a legitimate thing. Because again, I'm more than my job and so are you. So that is my new role and I'm very excited and I'm excited to have more free time to do the things I love, to be on social media, to make more content. So stay tuned because a lot more is coming. As always, leave topics and recommendations of stuff you want me to cover or things that maybe you want to share. Maybe you have more questions about switching careers in medicine. I'd love to jump into it. I am an open book. I want to help others find this freedom and find the happiness that I'm currently finding. But please, if I can help in any way or if you want to reach out and ask me more questions, please just leave them in the comments. All right, you guys, I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all are doing great. Take care. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.